No, Stephen, you don't. For nine months, I was his world, his only world. With each one of my children, I was the sole protector until birth. I felt their first movements, knew when they were sleeping, when they were awake. I was hungry when they were. I remember gaining 20 pounds with Kevin in the first four months. I couldn't seem to eat enough to satisfy him. Even after his birth, he was always hungry, always thinking about the next meal. Each one of you and your brother were a part of me, and I was a part of you. All of you were special, but he, he was the first in so many ways. The first time the doctor told me the test was positive, the first flutter and then panic when I couldn't feel him, the first kick to the rib cage, it was my first stretch mark, my first contraction, and the first time I knew real feel for another human being. We were connected in so many ways. And now he's dead and I'm not. So don't tell me that you understand what I'm feeling. My son is dead. The son that I protected 26 years ago. Everything I am is dead and I can't bring him back. Yes, you were his father and both of you were his siblings, but I was his mother. I gave him life and now, now he's gone. So go ahead with your penny complaints and your detestable whining, but leave me the hell out of this. given my life for my family and this is the thanks I receive. Yeah, I missed games and plays. Didn't have pretend tea parties with my daughter. I missed holiday get-togethers and birthdays. I wasn't the one to teach either of you or your brother how to tie a tie or any of you how to drive. I missed Kelly's prom night and, and your first showing. But would you like to know what I didn't miss, Kyle? What you've chosen to forget? I didn't miss rushing Kevin into the emergency room when he had an asthma attack. I didn't miss sitting beside your bed when you had a fever of 103. I didn't miss Kelly crying on my shoulder when she and her first boyfriend broke up. I was a father, Kyle. And you and Kelly can hate me all you want and feel that I've failed you. But at the end of the day, I did what, as I, what I was taught to do as a father. I was a good provider, a faithful husband. And I busted my tail to make sure this family never had to worry. You talk of dreams and needs that I didn't help come true. I I'm trying to understand what you need, but you just hurl accusations around with no thought of how they might affect me. Tell me, Kyle, what about my wish to see your brother's children? That was taken away from me. And he didn't have the guts to leave a note telling me why. Or try to talk to me beforehand so I might have tried to help. No, I may not understand, Kyle. But he was my son and I loved him. My oldest son is dead by his own hand. Because he didn't feel he could come to me. His own father. And now you want to blame me? Say what you ever you need to, Kyle. I blame myself enough already. 